So, this came out in 2004, uh, December 8th. Okay. And it's studio... Well, the intro is kind of par for the course for 2004. Its studio only has uh, four shows to its name on this perfectly legal website. Perfectly legal, yes. Perfectly legal website. Alright, let's do this. It's 19 minutes, by the way. Okay. It and I'm just saying that this intro is really stupid long. It's It's been a full minute. Audio quality, 10 out of the 10. Yep. Here's a better question. Why were they making an opening as if it was going to be like a TV show? Probably because they tried to make a TV show and it did not work at all for some reason. Gee, I wonder why. If it's 1.85 review. Character selection screen. Yeah. Oh, I think I've heard of this one before, actually. I swear I've seen other uh, anime YouTubers review it. Is that a giant Christmas tree? It kind of looks like it, yeah. Oh. Is that Phoenix right? A future suit, which is what I'm nicknaming all this stuff. <laughs> well, you know, when they have the suit that's like white with the dash of blue and the gold. Yeah. It, it, it's literally always meant to be like a suit from the future. And I keep wondering, so when actually is white going to come back? Because currently... Space. <laughs> the, the, Space Force. That's yeah. the only thing I can think of right now. <laughs> Like, the only person who, like, wears white and pulls it off is, like, Fred, maybe? Like, Fred from Scooby-Doo? And if Fred from Scooby-Doo yeah. is, like, your fashion example, I would not... <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good example. That's not a good example, yeah. Also, I have zero idea what's even going on. Like, they just keep cutting and there's no, like, actual plot art yet. <laughs> I think there's, like, a... Um, alien meteor coming down to the planet earth i'm guessing yeah bro can i can i rant about one thing i'm sorry when people call this mecca no when i think mecca i think big robot that you either get inside or like ride alongside of like pacific rim sort of thing yeah like this this is just stilts with guns like yeah, <laughs> and it I, I always hate these the most because look at how dumb that is. It's not even like she's behind the metal; she's directly in front of it. Her body is the actual shield. She is the shield like, for the humans, or no, the human is the shield for the machine. That's yeah. normally not how that works. Like as an example, like Diva, like I'm going to use an Overwatch example, like. Diva at least has a covering, right? Yeah, she has that... Well, like, in canon, that's supposed to be, like, ultra bulletproof glass or whatever. Yeah, but at least there's, like, a covering there. Yeah. That's, like, the better way to do this. Or there's Reinhardt with his, like... four. Helmet. Nah, it's, it's, like a, it's, like, 40 inches of metal, but... Yeah. But <laughs> he still has le less HP than uh, Roadhog, which is nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Always remember, kid, being American means you are impervious to bullets. He's Australian. No. He has obesity. He's American. Fair enough. Alright. <laughs> we, we may have got off topic. Ooh. Look at that fluid animation. What they got to the running? What is she running to? I, I don't... No, she's running maybe to stop the fight? Yeah. But, like, why cut... That was just a really random cut. Well, they didn't <laughs> want to animate the people in the... Bro, that's a squid mixed with a Christmas tree. I don't blame you. Excuse me, what is happening? <laughs> what is... Do you think, me and the boys, do you think all of us could come together and make an anime? He looks very familiar. All the characters look vaguely familiar from somewhere. Yeah. Oh yeah, that animation. Oh, oh, look at this. The jets flying by. 
do you see that? When they're far away, their mouths don't move. Yeah. Is she going to die? Absolutely. Alright, good. Oh, I... The only thing I can comment on so far is all of this, like, a solid, like, 70% of this has just been filmed. Oh, wow. Yeah, the guy's the only one with an actual protective equipment between yeah. him and the laser. Yeah, great. Well, so what are these mechs supposed to accomplish that a jet could I don't know. She dies. Maybe? Oh, absolutely. No? Maybe? <laughs> Bro, there was no impact on that. Okay, so what are we doing? I don't know. It should cut back to her on the ship. And it immediately cut to this. After uh, literally having a cutaway two seconds ago. So apparently she's like a human made human? Like she was made in a lab? What is happening? I don't know. It keeps cutting away for a lore that like doesn't even need to be added at all. Is that a dead girl? I think so. Yeah, or it's like a but love. Not really. It's, it's like a like, love story, maybe. Yeah. Wait. So they just defeated. Wait. Did that just die? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Hey, yo. Okay, I can see. I can see what this is so bad because there's. It doesn't seem like there's any coherent plot. Okay. Did who who died? I'm a little unclear. Okay. Oh, she didn't even die. Not her. So. Is is that how it ends? Were is they that it ends? Were they the end? Were they baiting a sequel? They were baiting so. a sequel, weren't they? They wanted more money for it. This was like a pilot of an episode, and they wanted it to take off. It was. <laughs> what? Okay. So. It's made up of. It's a nineteen-minute video. At seventeen twenty-four, they start the it's ending. Credits. Then. And when does it begin? Then they have the opening go from 137 to uh, 317. Yeah. So they have about two minutes just from credits alone. Plus, oh, yes. the first minute is straight up just them slowly descending upon Earth. Uh, when did the when did the credits start again? Uh. 724, I think? Uh, no, 726. 1726. 1726. Because I'm doing some math, math here. It's only 14 minutes. Yeah, so this whole thing together is 14 minutes. Alright. And most of it made no coherent sense. Yeah. The one I got from it is she's made in a lab. They don't know how long she has to live. Yeah. She was made in a lab exclusively to follow his orders. Yes. And they had to defeat this tentacle monster. Hmm. Great. And to defeat the tentacle monster, all they had to do was like make a really bad cut into it and then destroy its entity or something. Okay, we can see everything. Oh, another thing I wanted to add about that sh that show. I I couldn't tell any of the characters were apart. Really? <laughs> Other than the dude and <laughs> like. Yeah, well, it's because they were also on screen for like. I, this thing seconds. is so short. Like, normally. When things are this short, they only focus on... And then every cut was, like, two seconds long. Yeah, maybe two <laughs> or three characters. But, yeah. like, this... No, it was, like... Most shows take 15 minutes to introduce the characters. Yeah. Like... And introduce the world. And this is, like, done in 15 minutes. Yeah. Now, would you rank it a 1.85... I'm not sure I would, because that's a thing with me. I watch really shitty movies, <laughs> um, like for fun. Yeah. Like I watch a, sh a movie called Atlantic Rim, 
It was oh, bad. Oh, yes, I've seen Atlantic Rim. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm not sure I would rate it a 1.8. So what would you give it, then? Maybe a 3. A 3? Three? 3, maybe 2 and a half. Honestly, I think I'm going to be a little bit mean today. I'm giving it a 1. Fair enough. I can see where you're coming from. Well, because, like, only re- let me ask the only you. reason I can't rank it a 1 is because I've seen worse. Well, I have seen worse. But, like, the thing is, why would I watch this instead of literally anything else? Like, quite literally, I there is no benefit to watching this. The only reason we watched it is because this is the worst mecha show ever made, apparently. Yeah. That's it. So, that's the reason we watched it. Apart well, from that, it has... There is no reason to watch it. I have watched... I have watched some shows that fall under a category called C movies. You mean so bad it's good? No. It's so bad, it's bad. Oh. Um, there's A boot. You know how there's like normal movies? Yeah. Like A movies? Your B movies. Yep. Or like your whatever like rubber suit monster movies. A. A. Those are bad, A. so bad that they're good. But then you get to see movies. <laughs> Which, they're so low budget that yeah. you think it's just some guy filming it on his iPhone. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a C movie, and it definitely feels like that, because the thing I notice is, like, the way you subscribe talked about it like b movies b movies can sometimes compete with like a movies just out of like pure like enjoyment yeah like sharknado is honestly super entertaining and sometimes they can actually be good because b movie is like for uh it basically means like smaller studio whereas like the thing is, there are bad, like, bad movies that are so bad that they're actually good. Yeah. Atlantic Rim is a perfect example of that. Really? Uh. I don't know if I'd call it so bad it's good, but... But see, even right now, look bad. at us! Um, <laughs> we were supposed to review this, and... Yes. <laughs> and, and we didn't. We instead are talking about other stuff. So that yes. should tell you how, how bad it is, because... We we dedicated an entire video to it, and we spent most of the time talking about other stuff. Because this has been so like unengaging. Yeah, because it doesn't in it doesn't engage anything. So I'm giving it a one. You give it a three. Are there two and a half? Two and a half. Okay. Two and a half. Are there any thoughts? Like final they thoughts, you. Cutaways. <laughs> they need more cutaways. Yeah. Okay. They need more cutaways. Okay. Okay. Okay.